Craig, I'm Ray Pasco. I'm the Vice President of Sales for Siba Vision. Siba Vision is one of the leaders in the contact lens industry. We help people see better. I've been in the role four years now, and I've worked for the company for seven. So Craig, it's been an interesting four years. You know, it started off rough and rocky. Team morale was low, results were poor. In fact, uh, you know, it always felt like we were dragging our whole company down. Not only Siba Vision, but, but our parent company, Novartis. Happy to say our, our results are much, much better. The last three years were on such a roll. We went from being a, a part of the organization that dragged the company down to now you know, leading this organization. You know, we've, we've, and we've been recognized for that. We've been recognized as the country of the year, as the fastest growing division within the company. Morale is high, people are energized, and more importantly, the people we serve, our doctors and our patients, you know, are enjoying the focus that my, my organization is bringing. So in, in our industry, a point of market share is tough, you know, to wrestle back from the competition. And in, in the, like we'll talk about the last year specifically, you know, we, we've added 2.6 share points to our market share, really essentially increasing our market share by 10%. Right. There's a lot of options out there. Uh, how does the experience with Veris Global uh, differ from your other options out there? Craig, we, we found our partnership with Veris Global to really be consistent with what we're trying to do, to drive results. You know, the first time we worked together, and we're now coming up on four years of working with Veris Global, I quite frankly didn't know what to expect. Every time you begin a new partnership, you don't know what you're going to get. I've been thrilled about how our two organizations have grown together. What I like about the approach of Veris Global is it, it allows leaders to lead from, from the deep values that they have inside to connect personal values with business objectives. And I believe, we, we talk in our company about being all in, about being fully committed to our business objective. And I believe that's a combination of you know, an intellectual approach from the head and then an, uh, an approach from the heart. And Veris Global has allowed us to be able to connect the heart and the head to bring the whole individual uh, into the equation. So growing and building our culture is one of our highest priorities. We believe that people that are focused, engaged, committed, and link their personal values with the business values will allow us to be maximally successful. Ray, there's a lot of people that uh, it's challenging because how do you measure culture? How do you measure the effect of behaviors on business results? Yeah. So stellar turnaround, if you will, stellar acceleration mm. uh, of, of the organizational results. What evidence do you have? What's the evidence between your culture, that leadership of that culture, and the results you're getting? So, so some people focus on the, the hard numbers of culture and success, right? They look at turnover or employee morale, and, and those are extremely important, and we measure them. Of course, business results. Are our business results strong? We also measure the, the perceived quality that our customers are picking up from us, and those scores are increasing as well. Our customers see us as a valuable partner, and I, I think that combination of business results, um, the, hu the human resource measurements, if you will, turnover and morale and engagement, as well as our customers' feedback on how we're doing are, are really the three ways we measure how we're progressing and how our culture and our business results are coming together. So you say four years. How have you seen that sustained? How have you seen that momentum accelerate? And, and why is that important to you? Yeah, it's a great question, Craig, and I've thought about that. The, the, the first uh, session that we went through was wonderful, and of course it was only 22 leaders in an organization of, of, of uh, tremendous size. What we found is that the more we brought in new class and that new 22 graduates, you know, we started to build critical mass. I, I always liken it to 
a snowball at the top of the mountain. And when it begins, it's a very small snowball and it goes slow. But depending on how high the mountain, it starts to build up velocity and it gathers size and momentum. And I believe the idea of critical mass is important. We continue to have you know, multiple sessions throughout the year to add more and more leaders and graduates you know, to the various global program. Ray, there, there are, uh, in my opinion, there are very few leaders who have the ability to connect with the masses and, and, and rally people. Uh, you're one of those leaders, uh, tremendous. Uh, what, when people take a look at this, the Veris Global approach, particularly the Pathways to Leadership process, uh, there's some unique elements to it uh, that for some people might, uh, it, it's so different from anything else that's out there uh, because of how it dresses and serves the whole person. Surely. Uh, how is that whole person approach uh, consistent with your approach and, and why is it effective? Hmm. Craig, I think that's probably one of the secrets to why you know, the Veris Global Program is so right for my company and so right for me. It does speak to the whole person. When, when I talk to people uh, as we're getting ready to hire them and, 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 and um, communicate what we're all about, I tell them that I'm hiring the whole person. I'm hiring you for 24 hours a day. It doesn't mean I want you to work 24 hours a day. What it means is that your happiness, both professionally and personally, that sum total is what you bring to work. You know, the example I like to use is, you think about a time when you, you, know, you had an argument at home with your wife or your husband, and then you came to work. You weren't at your best. You didn't bring your A game, and it probably was a miserable day. Well, using the various global approach and the tools that you, you help provide to us, you know, we, we allow people to be successful and healthy and happy at work and successful and healthy and happy at home. And so it's not just a business results approach. Now, mind you, absolutely it delivers business results or we wouldn't continue our partnership. But, but the personal side, quite frankly, I think it's our number one retention tool. And I've, I've analyzed the data of the number of people that we've put through the Veris Global Program, and it's a tremendously high retention rate. I'm, I'm proud of our business results, and I'm proud of the turnaround of our organization, but, but I'm really proud that people come up to me and say, thank you for, you know, for the program you brought us. Thank you for introducing us to Veris Global. It's, it's the best thing that's ever happened to me from a professional, personal standpoint. I have a lot of tenured employees and we put them through a lot of training programs. And I remember one woman came up to me and said, I've been here 25 years and this is the best program I've ever had a company give me. They look at it, Craig, as a gift. And, and, and that's the way I value it too. We're giving them a gift. And, and I think it speaks very, um, very strongly to me that I'm helping them professionally and personally to be successful and to be healthy and happy at home and at work. I think this idea, this idea of connecting people's emotional involvement in anything, in work or their relationships with their coworkers, and, and their drive to be successful, which is an intellectual feeling. That combination of emotional and intellectual, I believe is the key to unlocking success, accelerating results, accelerating growth. People want to be great. We know people want to be great. They don't come to work to be average. You know, I'm going to be the best average worker I can be today. So we know that they want to be great. Sometimes they don't know how to be great. And I think this idea of allowing them to be a genuine human being at the same time of being an, an organizational um, resource, I, I think that's a tremendous combination. And I think it's, it's not additive. I think it's multiplicative. I'm very happy that we started with the senior leadership of my organization. We, we didn't... We didn't say, oh, this looks like a good program, let's put our folks through it. We went through it first. And, and we, we became so fired up about it that we then took our next level management through it. And, and the way that really worked for us is 
as we did that, we didn't tell their employees what we're doing. We didn't say, we've got this new initiative and you'll see it. But we, we put the management team through it. And then all of a sudden, you know, their, their employees and their direct reports kept saying, boy, I don't know what you did to Sally or Susie, but whatever it is, keep doing it because I like where they're coming from. And it was after that that we started to explain you know, the various global approach and what we were doing through the Pathways to Leadership tools. So it was, one, it's, it was rather, we're not going to tell you about it, do it, and then you'll see it. We did it first. We lived it first. And then we explained to people what we were doing. Anything you'd like to add when you think about people who are either considering it, when you think about employees at, at Nestle and Procter Gamble, um, uh, Kellogg's and, and so many others, people around the world, different continents, anything you want to say to them? I'd say like anything that you don't understand, the first time you do something, you know, there's a risk associated with it. I, I would share with my results and my company's results that it's a risk worth taking. Um, I'd ask you to be personally involved in it, you know, show people that you, know, you believe it, you walk the talk and not just cascade it down. And then lastly, I'd, I'd ask you to be all in about it. It's not something you can do you know, every other day. Our, our success is daily application of the tools and the process. Um, I guess it's like you know, you're buying a real nice mountain bike and only you know, getting to use it once a year or twice a year. You can't enjoy it, you can't appreciate it, you can't get the value out of it unless you use it every day. So um, it's great because initially you have to intellectually think about using it and over time it just becomes second nature. And that's where we are now after four years. I have so many leaders that practice the tool to live the lifestyle just normally and naturally, and, and that's very rewarding.